I was worried about being hot. Solve that problem. Now, I don't actually need to tape the foam on my house. I can just tape it to my face. What am I supposed to do with that foam? Look, like, guys, look, I'm a f dragon. Finally, we we got the head foams for really Team Fortress 2. Someone head. made it into an item. I don't know how old is that. I'm not too old. It's from 2021. Never seen this item before. An obvious reference to when the scout voice actor had, had a, bit, a bit of a goofy moment in front of camera that got 4.3 million views, by the way. Ah, uh, neat. Anyway, that's the first item I have in today's workshop Wednesdays. You may have noticed there's no intro. Well, that's because your attention rate slow people i'm sorry intros ruined that next item villainous visage right style there's also left style so for one eye each right no not right left whatever an evil looking scar for all classes i believe at least yeah evil scout gets it that's cool man evil scout never thought i'd see him he always looks so you know goofy it's like evil morty rick and morty i'm sorry oh wait never mind all classes except pyra well that makes sense i mean obviously wow i didn't even notice it was missing okay right next we got the fat Batman's burden backpack item for heavy makes him carry a big sandwich, you know, nothing too crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, look at the... It's my gamer Obama. Look at the man's profile picture. <laughs> ah, that's cool. I like that. <laughs> yep, cool item. Next, Scorched Heart. <laughs> this one's for all of the edgy pyro maids out there. <laughs> Man, I love this. <laughs> this is a pyro cynical main into Team Fortress 2 cosmetic. <laughs> it's not a phase, mom. Critical hits are fair. <laughs> he lights it on fire. It's not a phase. Oh, I love this. This is... <laughs> this is a blessing to humanity. Next, the Spectre Detector. It's a Ghostbuster head uh, hat. I like the caption. Mercenaries, beware. You're in for a scare. Man, look at this render too. So crazy how much work they put into these like items. Absolutely crazy. Really cool. I've actually never watched Ghostbuster, so I'm just assuming that this is a Ghostbuster reference. I'm, I'm pretty sure it is though, right? Yeah, it must be. Next up, Cockerel Container. A chicken on Pyro's back. I don't know who had this idea. I also don't know how they got it, because honestly, what does Pyro have to do with chicks? But honestly, it's, it's pretty fun, you know? Why, the model just broke. Why did it break? Uh, while we wait for the model to return, why don't you guys check out my Twitch channel? I put in a lot of work. I'd really appreciate it if you went to the link in the description. I try and make every stream a cool experience for everyone involved. Okay, it fixed itself. It still says something went wrong, but I can, I can inspect it now. Well, who cares? It's a chick in a box. It ain't much, but it's honest work. Next, the behemoth. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, of course. It pairs with the eyes, as always. Oh, God. And with the bread, you can get the double teeth with the bread head cosmetic. Love it. Next, Demon Thorn, a war paint that puts teeth on your uh, weapons, which looks absolutely insane on the minigun because whatever that thing is on there, it looks like an eye with the skin. So not much to say here, except that is really cool. You know, this is unusual, maybe with cool effect. You'd have the cool monster minigun with the eye. Mm, think about it. Here's one for everyone that's like me, an edgy spy mate, Lord Stabbington's cane. There's something very British or not British, but like gentleman-like about Spy, right? He's French, obviously, but he's got the gentleman thing going on. And something about the hidden knife inside a walking cane just really fits with Spy's whole demeanor, right? I'm sure you could all see it. I don't know why in this image he he's put like a girl on the train tracks. I'm not real, and I don't know what's going on there, but the item's cool. Yeah, next. Infernal X-Ray. You get a few different, I assume, styles for this. So you can either have X-ray, electromagnetic, ultraviolet, thermal, or gamma, and uh, obvious contender for Halloween updates in the future. X-ray Pyro's head. Isn't that cool? Uh, next. <laughs> We're really rushing through these. The Spine Crusher. Ooh, that's sick. So it's a, a, a backpack item for, I think, all classes, right? Yeah, it's for Medic. Heavy, Pyro, Spy, I think every single one of them. A cool Halloween one. I like it, I like it quite a bit. A barrel of inspiring beverage. Another backpack item. This time demo only, I believe, because the whole pirate theme, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's demo man only. Oh, that's from all the way back in the Mayan update, but I have never seen it before. <laughs> Dude, that's from 2012. No way, and I've never seen it. Is it in game? Nah, I, I don't think it is. It, it, it's not been accepted yet. But this thing's old. <laughs> well, uh, 
bringing you old content anew. That's what I do. The Musketeer, once again for Spy. Oh, look at that. Oh, I like this. Wait, is it also for the Mayan update? Look, there's another Mayan statue. Is it? No, it's not. Is it now? No, it's not. Okay. <laughs> Wait, is this supposed to be a Halloween item? Because I don't see why it should be Halloween restricted. Honestly, this could be a year-round cosmetic, right? <laughs> I don't see this being even remotely as crazy as the banana hat, which is my usual frame of reference for is something too crazy. I get that he, like, did a Halloween collection, but this is honestly just fine year-round. Well, Anyway, that was the Musketeer. Next, Comfy Joe. Look at him, he's so comfortable. Very comfy. Pyro only. Paintable little monkey. Once again, a backpack item. Today we got a lot of backpack items. That wasn't really on purpose, but I'm only just now noticing. Also, he looks around. It's actually... Is it creepy that he looks around? Eh, not really. He looks cute. He looks cute. Rudolph's Requiem. Horns out of the Pyro's eyes. <laughs> Who comes up with these ideas, man? Like, you'd think at some point the creative potential is just exhausted for all of the TF2 stuff that's been made. Nope. Here's horns that come out of the pirate's head on the eyes. <laughs> oh, wait. It comes with the with the Rudolph nose. I didn't realize that. Okay, so it also comes with the Rudolph nose. I wonder if it glows. I don't think so. That's still cool. Drip. Absolute drip. Boys, we got some footwear. The winter waders. Waders? What? I don't know. Anyway, it's winter boots. Because as most of you hopefully know the fit is only as good as the, as the boots are if you don't got good shoes the entire fit's not looking good you know, I like having some good boots in the game. They're really cool. Nickel Smart, the clown. Usually it's Pyro that gets all the clown cosmetics. It's nice and refreshing to see it being done on Spy for once. I'm a fan. <laughs> Especially because, like, French. And it's got, like, a bit of mime vibe going on still. So, it, you know, it kind of fits. And this would be super cool for a YouTuber clown. Spy main. For all of you who've never seen him before. Here's a quick clip of what he does. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, by the way, the clown's the spy, so not the guy in the video. Well, it is, you get the point. Next, bash stick. Oh, look at him. He's so fat and cute. Just sitting there. Oh, look at the concept art. I almost like the concept art more than the cosmetic itself. <laughs> it's a hamster. Hamster. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, shoulder cosmetic for Pyro. Little, little Hamter. Just sitting there. The intermission. I believe this is a radio, right? It's a sappery skin. Yeah, it's like a, a radio signal thingy. I'm not sure. This is old. Okay, I'm, it's not a mobile phone. I'm, I'm like too. I'm too young for this still. I mean, I'm getting old slowly, but I don't know. What is that? Is it a radio? I think it is. Uh, sappery skin. Let's do two more items and then let's call it a day. The 10th class. Pretty cool. You got a spy mask as a spy cosmetic. Obviously, you won't be able to disguise as an apple or as Gabe Newell, sadly, but like, you know, fun little item. And last one, pretty sure I've already shown this, but just in case I haven't, here's Werby. <laughs> Werby, the, oh my God, you compare it with the fish. I didn't even think of that initially. So obviously Halloween item for Pyro that makes his head into a little worm. The only slight problem I see with this is it makes his head smaller than it usually is. So a head hitbox would be a little scuffed maybe, I don't know. Anyway, that's it for today's video. Leave some nice comments for those people that were shown in the video. Please check out my Twitch. I really put in some work. I'm really trying and I'll see you, my fantastic friends, in the next one. Bye-bye.